technology. <laughs> Hey, it's me. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman one very specific woman might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. I really, I think the Elusive Man is a very, like, awesome character, honestly. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Hundreds of thousands of colonists disappearing in like large groups is something that I, I still can't believe that the Alliance was like, really, they got like bogged down I think in like bureaucracy and all this and politics and stuff. And the council still doesn't care about humanity despite them, you know, having to, like, play nice to us now. But it just boggles my mind. It takes private, private interest of, like, semi-terrorists. Uh, well, and they have changed, apparently, since their terrorist days, but, mm, yeah. Fighting a war oh, doesn't wait. seem like Cerberus. We're committed to, if the Reaper, uh, if we wait for politicians or the Alliance well, I mean, act, no more You could have now. trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique, not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. I mean, I didn't. I didn't even pull the trigger on that. That was Joker, technically. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. They're rebuilding, still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Mm. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. He's so impressive. Like, I hate him, but I love him at the same time. 
Return to active duty. Okay, this part's annoying <laughs> when it scrolls through everything. Investigate colony. Um, a ship is waiting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, open the... Fine. Ooh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, this is a completely new system, and I have to admit, I'm not as fond of this system as I am of the original Mass Effect 1 system, but it's the one we're stuck with. Um... We'll get Assault Mastery next time, but I wanted to unlock most of my abilities. I do prefer Cryo Ammo to Incendiary Ammo. Yes. I do love Shockwave. Oh, so I don't get another cool ability. Man, that must just be an Andromeda. And Andromeda you have, which has the best combat out of the entire series. I will say that 100%, despite all of it, Andromeda's flaws, it has the best combat in the entire Mass Effect series. Um, but in that one, you have an ability, you have several, you have a couple abilities. One's a charge, and then another one's like a seismic slam. So you charge in, and you can seismic slam. And I don't know if any of those give you um, shield or not, but. Oh, but I think what I'm going to have to be doing is charging in and then shockwaving because the nice thing about charging in and seismic slamming is that it knocks the enemies around you like off kilter so that you can um, like get your bearings and get back if you need to. Okay, hurry up. Get these out of the way. Okay, it's going to take a while. Nope, not going not gonna to wait for that. Hey. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Hmm. Okay, we'll be a little... I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. Don't worry. We'll find out what happened to those colonists. Well, at least you're confident. Let's hope it's not misplaced. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Uh huh. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable, until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. You guys are not any help. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Mm. We're having a, a, a battle of dad, of, of, of dad, what is it, like, a, like fa potential favoritism going on, kind of? I think it's it's a little more than that, but, uh, but yeah, Miranda's cold. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Like, what does she want me, like, I don't know, she want, like, a puppet, like, which to me, Miranda is very, very practical, like, practical to the nth degree, you know. The elusive man, despite being what he is, I guess, somebody you might think is, he is very cold and calculating, but he also, he calculates emotion at more than, and, like, uh, Maybe it's just like just emotion in general more than Miranda does at least right now. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Why are you being mean? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No, 
The elusive men recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. <laughs> she definitely did that. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. <laughs> she's so mean to me. Why are you so mean to me? I know why she's mean to me. <laughs> I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Hmm. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? Mm. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Well, I did crush them a few times. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Hey, it's Garrus. <laughs> Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's fair. It's understandable that that point of view, you know? Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Why do I have Renegade? What did I do? What did I... It's okay. I do in Mass Effect 2. I play a little more fast and loose with Renegade. But by that, I mean like I do like three different Renegade actions. <laughs> uh, I'm not pure Paragon in this one. Especially because, like, I don't know, you just woke up from cryo sleep, and, or not cryo sleep, sorry, from like being freaking dead and like stuff's going down and all this stuff is like going down and you're like, what the heck? Like, I feel like it's understandable to be like a little peeved, <laughs> you know? Just a little bit. <laughs> all right, mission summary. Import bonuses, yes. Starting at level three, yeah, 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 yeah. 190 Paragon. Oh, I do love this. Oh, la 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 la. Uh, facility. Oh, yeah, he has little summaries. Facility team destroy by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survive. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. Um. Mole for what, though? I think we don't ever figure out exactly. I don't know. Do we figure out? I don't think we figure out why exactly Wilson was doing this. I think it was just because he wasn't getting enough money. But, like, I don't remember why he actually, like, betrayed everybody who knew him. And became a dick. Like, and, like literally murdered everybody that had worked with him for the last two years, you know? Oh, this game has the best little... We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? This has to be galling for her. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. He will be all right with it, Miranda. <laughs> what did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappeared got no target to go after. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. <laughs> oh, 
still no husband. <laughs> Although, I will be honest, I was eyeing Jacob when I first played this game. I find him very attractive. And he's funny. Like, he's really, he's just really funny. But like, okay, not funny, but like, he's really, like, he's really like smart, like smart ass, I guess you could say. Like, I don't know. And he's like, blunt to the point, but like, I don't know, wants to help people. Like, I really like Jacob. And he, he is funny. I laugh. Like, he makes me laugh sometimes. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. He's solid, you know? He's a dependable kind of guy, and I like that. Uh, but they do an odd thing in this game where they essentially, like, force Shepard to flirt with him, and it's very odd. Like, it, it's just default conversation. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Mm hmm. Oh, this is. Uh, I don't think. Can I open it. I, listen, I know. I know what I'm doing. Okay, hang on. I think this is the one where I need to. Go into ground! Maybe. Heading to cover! Yeah, okay. Fenris. Strange. Security. Systems were disabled at the other side. Taking fire. Why? Why am I in so much pain? Okay, these mechs are way more difficult. Uh, oh, geez, that worked better on armor than I thought it would. I need better shields. This is ridiculous. Also, I don't have to- Ah! No! No! <laughs> May first day. Okay, let's just go in. Oh, oh, I still, I do have that. Okay. Cerberus. Oh, jeez. What do I gotta, oh, that's right, that one unlocks with them. Okay. Yeah, Miranda's actually good to level up for um, the bonuses she gives to the entire squad. Overlord. And for them, like, I get access to my abilities, but in order to get their special ability, uh, you know, unlock their whole daily wop there. Mm. They're like, what do you want to call it? Specialization. I need to fully unlock their specialization. You hear that? Sounds like Fenris mechs. Strange. Security. Here, you two, feel free. Sure thing. Get involved. Taking cover. No shields. Requesting I know. Take out your shield. Oh, jeez. Ah. All right, I have shockwave now too. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Oh, what is going on? I can't. I got stuck. Okay, this is uh, if this is any indication of what to. Expect I am gonna. Oops, no. Lose my mind. Oh, I'm doomed. I can't use shockwave on armored targets. That's right. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, I'm changing it. I'm done. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, so much for that. See, veteran. Hear 
that sounds like Ben respects. Strange. Oh. Security systems were disabled at the other hole. Ooh, these guys don't see they don't have armor right now. That you did not. You didn't. Taking heavy fire. Oh, I am taking heavy fire still. Shoot them Oh, and that's part of our problem too, is armored um, uh, enemies. Um, armored enemies. Oh, you can pick up multiple targets on the already? Oh, jeez. You can't use, um, well. You can't use Those certain. Should have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. What is it? You can't. There's certain biotic abilities you can't do uh, on armor, except for warp. Apparently, you can use on armor. Um, but like shockwave, you can't use on armored targets, which makes biotics, I think, a little weak against armor. Or no, Biotic is supposed to be better against armor because shields are weak to technicians. I don't remember the details. But there are some things you can't do against armor and some things you can't really do against shields. Which encourages you to... Ooh, I do actually love this mini game. Um, it encourages you to bring a balance squad. Oh, no, wait. No, how do I do this? I, I didn't pay attention. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, I can just hover. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to read. I don't need to read anything. I'm a professional. What am I stuck on? This ottoman? We've been spotted. Yeah, but but salvage. Ow. Here we go. Let me do it. Oh. <laughs> with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data time? Yes! Did it help you complete your it's, pilgrimage? It worked! Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Hmm... Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. People still got hurt. argue over who killed who later. 
Right now we've got a job to There's do. a book. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. That whole thing is actually a book by Drew Corruption in the Mass Effect universe. I think it's the third one? Yeah. Make sure to keep in radio contact. <gasps> Tally! Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. She's actually a little more distrustful of you if you haven't done the that's what it, that's what it is, I remember now. If you haven't given her like the um Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad. If you haven't given her the um the Geth data, like helped her with her pilgrimage, she's actually way more suspicious of you at this moment. You level up? D oh I didn't haha. <laughs> Oh, go Thanks away. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of him. They see you, Shepard. Ah, well, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a mech. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize it would still... That was, that was like a mimic trap. I didn't realize it would still do its thing. Like, move. I thought I was, like, frozen in time, but I was not. Where's that one? I don't even- I think I use money more in this game. Use overload anyway, freaking it was good to see Tally- you should've- you guys should've seen me when I first played- Oh jeez. When I first played, and I met Tally, because I didn't know, right? I didn't know that I was gonna meet Tally, and I was like, Oh my gosh, yeah! I was so excited. And then, because the, I think the first time I played, I hadn't, um, I hadn't given her the, um, One left. One left. I hadn't given her the get data because I didn't know. Shepard, and his squad rushed on the head. Uh -huh. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. Uh -huh. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. Still but we, them. I mean, okay, Tally, it's just really weird, too, to see, like, Tally, like, leading her own squad. Like, things have changed in two years, you know? And Shepard, like, my Shepard, anyway, was, like, at least when I first played, was, like, you know, like, really, like, kind of clinging to the old ways for, for a long, like, to the old times for a long time, which is to be expected from somebody who's been, like, out of it for two years, you know what I mean? Like, comatose, essentially. This is like a really weirdly set up colony, by the way. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, I realize we're taking damage. No need to keep making noises about it. I just took that rocket to the face. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's so nice playing on a mode where I can face tank things. Oh, jeez. Also, could you imagine? did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. Could you imagine? We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Imagine being Vitor, because eventually Vitor comes out of it, you know? And you can talk to him, and he has to go into recovery. But he essentially, like, murders, like, four quarians by his actions. Like, his own people. But he's, I mean, he's totally out of it, right? Like, he's, he's delirious, he's sick. Like, he doesn't know what's going on, he's scared. Like he's he's not he's not in his right mind, but it's still like really traumatizing, I assume. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here because uh, it is time, <laughs> and I let this episode go on for two episodes because I mistimed things earlier. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I want to say a real quick thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but especially to my sapling tier patrons. Uh, Scalamonger, thank you so much. And to Rescoito, thank you so much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my tree tier patron, Christopher, who is super awesome and amazing. And I really super duper appreciate you and all your support. And I know for sure you wouldn't program mechs to attack me on site. 
I, that's the greatest thing I can think of right now. So thank you guys, all of you so much, and I hope to see everybody in the next one.